let's talk json and also response statuses from the server first of all let's set up json and then talk about it so app dot use and then express and then dot json now we use json in our express server and what is json simply json is a form of data that is really friendly with javascript so if we want to postman and then we're going to send this request get to a public api which returns a bunch of products random products in form of json so we're going to see a, a typical json file so it's a slow request let's wait a little bit and then it's taken longer than i thought And there you go this is a typical json form of data so this is like an array and inside this we have a bunch of objects and you know have a lot of properties and inside the properties they can be like also objects array so it's pretty cool so now we can send you know form of data and this is pretty 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 cool so like for example you went to the browser this is the same one from the same api it's a get request so you can use it in the browser and you see this is a typical json uh, format of data also you can uh, install this tool which is called json viewer in google chrome i don't know if it's available in other browsers but you install it and it gives you this good looking you know formatting for the json file otherwise it's just gonna be uh, a white page with you know black text so this way makes it cooler and better to look at and also you can see it raw this is how it looks raw and now how it looks with the json viewer add-in and also there is some settings right here you can change it for them like the theme and everyone and everything you want so it's pretty cool to use this now let's go and let's uh, let's use it inside our project so let's go for example to routes and this is a route and here so let's go back to postman so this is the, this is the let's say the route which is http slash api slash no this is slash user this is the route we used to get a, a response which is welcome from user home now we want to make it a json format so we can remove resend and then now send it at json and inside this json you can send whatever let's send an object an object is going to be like had many properties as you want so a message that's like something and also you can have like error and then you can have something okay so now if we want to send again we get you know the response in form of json which is pretty cool and easier to use you know and more understandable and it's you know it gives you a lot of variety you know when you code now we're going to talk about statuses which is this one when you send a request you get a response and then you get the status of the response as we said before 200 means that everything went okay and also we get the data right here so we can go to our uh, projects and here we can add the status so we can control the status that, uh, that we get so this one is going to be status 200 which is the one that we have right here so we send again it's cell 200 we can also change it and control it so we can have 204 and 204 is the same as 200 except this time we're not gonna get the body so send we're gonna get uh, 200, 204 so everything went all right but there is no content we can't get you know any additional information and i've talked about it uh, before so you only get the headers the headers are available are available but the body is not available you don't get a body so if you have like a, an operation that requires to return something you return 200 but if you don't want to return anything you can use 200 204 so 204 is doesn't return anything there is another one which is 404 which is means that's not found so if there is some so if there is something that is not found we can send a request that the status 404 and it's not found there is also another one which is 400 which is a bad request oh, if there is an error we can just send it so in terms of error we send 400 also there is another one which is 4 03 which is forbidden so this is like for um if there is no permissions to access this route we can use the 403 this way and it's as you see right here forbidden those like the most important ones so we have 200 which is means everything okay and also we can send the body for we have 204 which means everything went okay but we can't send the body there is four 100 which means that there is an error and we have 403 which means forbidden and also we have 404 which means not found so the these are the main ones for the statuses 
so make sure that you understand them and you get you know a bit used to them so when we work with them so if we have an error we know which we send so depending on the type of the error so this is like very very needed for our course to understand them so so that was a short and informative tutorial see you in the next video